Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, everybody? How are you, Kevin? How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Jose Carlos. Good evening, uh, Esmeralda. Good evening, Jose Walter. Jose Carlos, are you new? Yes, I am new. Really? For the first time? Really? It's my first time here. Really? Do you, what happened? What happened? This is le uh, like level one, module one? Yes? Yes, I know. Okay. Ah, okay, perfect, Mister. Welcome. Uh, let's. <laughs> no problem. Hello, Eric. I saw your message. Hello, uh, Rebecca. Hello, Fausto. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you being here, and we are going to start today's class. Okay, vamos a iniciar. Uh, and as you can see today, it is English Principiante Modulo 1. So today it is Tuesday, June 6, 2023. And we are going to start with this module, okay? Vamos a continuar con este módulo de Inglés Principiante Modulo 1. And yeah, okay? And so today we are going to continue with uh, using the prepositions of place, okay? How to say prepositions, like the places, where are they? We are also going to say where is the people located and the nationalities, okay? Um, so we are going to practice that today. And we are continuing with unit number two. What's this, okay? This is the agenda, super short, but with a lot of activities, okay? To start, okay, we are going to go with some questions. Yesterday, we were practicing about the verb to be, right, and the questions. And we were studying, give me one second so I can show you the board. We were studying, like, for example, are you Salvadorian? And you can answer, for example, are you Salvadorian, Kevin? Yes, I am. Exactly, right? If we are talking about are you, and then you say, remember, a name, an age, nationality, profession, occupation, like feelings. Si ustedes recuerdan que estamos viendo la, las preguntas con el verbo to be, Y decíamos, are you, y después utilizamos una nacionalidad, una ocupación, un sentimiento. Like, for example, are you Salvadorian? That is a nationality, right? You can answer, yes, I am, okay? Or maybe, are you, are you happy? Are you happy? Let's say, Rebecca, are you happy today? Yes, I am. Uh, exactly, very good. What about you? Are you, hmm, let's see. Jose Walter, are you Mary? Mary, casado. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, very good. What about, are you, are you in Metro? Uh, Eric, are you in Metro? <laughs> Eric, hello. Este. No, I am not. Puede repetir, no, no le escuché muy bien. Are you in metro? Mm. Can, can you see, can you see right now the, the whiteboard? Puedes ver la, la pizarrita? Yes. Yes. Okay, so yes, it says. Uh, are you in Metro right now? Oh my goodness. Really? In Metro Centro? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? Really? Okay, yes. I am. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, Jose Carlos? Uh, uh, no, the answer. No, I am not. Or no, I am not. Uh, exactly. Very good. All right. uh, Jose Carlos, are you a teacher? 
Ah, uh, exactly. That's how you can answer. No, I am not. So what are we going to do now? Now that we have reviewed this, a little bit about this, right? And it says, are you? We are going to practice doing like a little shame. Vamos a practicar haciendo como una pequeña cadenita de preguntas, okay? I am going to do one question like using are you, utilizando el are you y una de los complementos que les explicaba ayer como un nombre, una edad, ocupación, sentimiento o nacionalidad. Y la vamos a hacer a uno de nuestros compañeros, like this. Así, miren, vamos, I am going to start with Daniela. Daniela, can you practice? I don't remember who said no. Oh. Can you practice, Daniela? Yes or no? Um, okay, Rebecca, can you practice? Yes. Mm. Puedes, puedes, no puedes, puedes contestar una pregunta? Yes. Um, um, es una oración que yo tengo que hacer. No, 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 yo te voy a preguntar primero. For example, are you, okay. are you Sofía? No, I am no. Ok, ahora tú, Rebeca, vas a hacer una pregunta a Fausto, ok? Así, utilizando are you. Are you policeman? Ah, very good. No, I am not police. Exactly. Fausto, do a question to uh, Eric, please. Um, Eric. Are you, mm -hmm. are you a student um, in engineer? Okay. No. Oh, engineer student? student? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Engineer student, very good. I not. I not a student. Creo que sí. Uh, so it says, are you an engineer student? No. 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 Uh huh. I am. No, I am not. Exactly. <laughs> very good. Let's see, next one. Uh, let's go with Eric. Do a question to, to Kevin, please. Are you a student in English? Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Kevin, do a question to Ivania, please. Are you sick? Sick. Right? Sick. Sit, sentado. Ah, sit. Oh, very good. Ivania, are you sit? Ivania, hello. 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 Te escuchamos bien lejitos, Ivania. Can you... No sé si tienes audífonos. I don't know. Tengo audífonos. Ahorita sí. Tengo muchos problemas con la, con, con la bocina del teléfono. O sea, yo oh. Ok. Uh, so. No. Uh, right now, like, we can hear you. Ahora sí te escuchamos. Ajá, pero, o sea, ya no me conecté y ahorita me acabo de conectar porque igual tengo problemas y no sé qué están haciendo. Estoy perdido. Oh, no problem, no problem. Ok, let's see, Kevin. Uh, Kevin, can you do a question to please to Jose Carlos, please? Kevin? Can you repeat the question? Are you sit? Uh -huh. Are you sit? Yes, I am. Excellent. Jose Carlos, can you do a question to Alejandra? Alejandra, are you single? Uh -huh. Alejandra, you're single, like single, soltera, yes or no, Alejandra? Uh, no, I am. Eh, disculpe, acabo de entrar a la clase. Oh, okay. So you're going to answer just the question that Mr. did. No, I am not. Remember, right? Okay. So are you single, miss? One more time. 
No, I am not. Excellent. Alejandra, uh, can you do a question to Jose Walter? Are you using are you and then, then you complete it? Are you a um, doctor? No, I am. No, I am? Not. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Thank you for doing the questions, you guys. You did super good so far. You're perfect. Okay. And now uh, we are going to continue. Okay. Now in this section, okay, we are right now, we are going to practice a little bit about the definite article. Okay. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So right now we are going to do a little bit of practice, okay? Vamos a hacer un poquito de practic practice. That is for the articles, but definite articles. There are two types of definite, I mean, uh, of articles. Hay dos tipos de artículos. Ya habíamos aprendido uno que es los indefinite articles. Last time we were studying them. Los estuvimos practicando. But today we are going to learn one more. Pero el día de ahora vamos a aprender uno más que es el da. Da, it's a little bit more specific, okay? Uh, and it says, uh, like, when we are talking for the first time, lo utilizamos para, eh, pa antes de una palabrita, okay, de un objeto, y eh, se utiliza para cosas más específicas, um, cuando son cosas únicas, Y también para cuando decimos algo por segunda vez o repetimos. Here we have an example. And it says the pirate. And in here, uh, we are being specific because it says uh, this is a specific pirate, this one. Aquí en la explicación pues dice que es un pirata específico. Okay, maybe they are mentioning for the first time. Tal vez lo están mencionando por primera vez. Y por eso es que... Eh, dice, vea, eh, the pirate, pero también cosas únicas, podemos decir, the United States, ok, the United States, another one that you know that is used the, or the, the Navy, for example, ok, porque solo uno es única, ok, the, um, what else? The moon, okay, porque solo hay una, vea, the moon, la luna. The, another example that you can tell me? The world. The world, exactly, because it's only one world, exactly, thank you. Another one that you can tell me? The sun. The sun, yes, yeah. yes, uh-huh, what else? The God. The? Um, Dios? God? Ah, okay. The it would be, okay, in that case, no, we will be only God, okay? Only God. Maybe we can mention some places. Esto es más que todo para lugares or objects, objects, basically, okay? Más que todo para lugares, objetos, okay? But in case of the... Uh, the God, hmm, sometimes, it will be like sometimes, okay, uh, so yeah, the, mm -mm, another one that you can tell me? The beach. The? Beach. Ah, right. the beach, the beach? Okay. Yes, very good. Um, okay, so in this case, the beach, um, another one, it can be when we mention something for the second time. In este caso, the beach, este, a veces lo util podemos utilizar cuando mencionamos algo por segunda vez. Por ejemplo, we, I can say, um, the Tunco Beach, maybe, okay? The Tunco Beach, ahí sí es un poco más específico, ¿verdad? Uy. Porque estamos diciendo un nombre, creo que solo existe una Tunco Beach, or Cuco Beach, or Las Flores Beach, okay, that. So, good so far. Now, the second one, as I told you before, it's the indefinite article, y el otro artículo sería el indefinite. 
why it's called indefinite. ¿Por qué se llama indefinitivo? Porque no es específico, solo dices like normal, no, like normal, right? A pirate, but we don't know what kind of pirate. Ok, aquí en este caso tenemos a pirate, pero no, es, no sabemos qué tipo de pirata en this case. Tal vez no es conocido, no se sabe de qué tipo. Y recuerden que tenemos el a y el an. Do you remember when do we use a? With what type of words do we use a? When do we use it? Anybody remembers? When do we use a? Before what words? Antes de qué palabras va la a? Who remembers? Apple. A, an, an, a apple? Like this? Mm -hmm. Apple. Uh -huh. Are you sure? A word. Exactly. A consonant. a consonant. Exactly. Like, for example, a pen. A, what else? Mouse. A bag. A bag, exactly. A, box. a what? A box. Box. a box, exactly. Wait a second, porque ahí no se ve. And then an, y después tenemos el an. Uy, what happened? Okay, there. Y de ahí tenemos la an, que dijimos que se utilizaba con vowels. Like, for example, an. Ego. An ego, exactly. An. Apple. Apple. An apple, yeah. very good. An. <laughs> Le quitaron la idea a mí. For you, good job. Thank you. Uh -huh. No, an with an. Orange. Orange, exactly, right? Y esto, recuerden que pues no, no es algo definitivo, sino que es algo indefinitivo, porque puede ser, recuerden que hay diferentes tipos de eagles, de, de ¿cómo se llama? De uh, águilas, ok. A manzanas, hay muchos tipos, right? Eh, naranjas, sí, solo quizás hay una, creo que hay tinto. Ah, no, hay varias, ¿verdad? Eh, hay toronja y todo eso. Pen también, entonces algo indefinitivo porque no damos una marca, un color exacto y así, ¿verdad? And so, right now, in order to practice this, ok, ahorita para practicar un poco acerca de esto, los indefinite, in, eh, in definite articles, we are going to do a practice. Vamos a hacer una pequeña practice. What are you going to do? You are going to tell me one number from this section. Give me one second. You're going to give me one number from this section and you're going to um, tell me the correct answers, okay? Give me one second. Uh, let's start with Rebecca. Rebecca, uh, tell me one number from one to uh, 16, Rebecca, please. Mm. Ten. Ten, okay, perfect. Tell me, which one do you think is the correct answer? A, an, or da? A. Ah. Okay. It's a large city. Yes, very good, Rebecca, thank you. Let's go, next one. Help me please, Jose Carlos, what number, one number please? Seven. Seven, okay. Tell me. We went to a restaurant to have some coffee yesterday. Okay, ah, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey. Yes, very good, Jose Carlos, thank you. Let's get with next one, Monica. Tell me one number, please, Monica. Eight. Eight. Okay, tell me, what's the correct answer? A boy was sent to the prison. Okay, a boy. A boy. Okay. Oh, no, in this one, uh, it's the, because we're talking about one person that's going to the prison, okay, in este caso. Okay. Estamos hablando de un chico en específico que va a ir a prisión. Oh, no, fue, este fue enviado a prisión más bien, ¿ok? Ok, so just to make it, make sure, ¿ok? But very good. 
Let's go with next one. Uh, let's go with uh, 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 Alejandra. Tell me one number, please. Uh, two. Two, okay. Uh, tell me. What do you think? Uh, ah, the, and or ta? Ta. Mm -hmm. The sentence set is correct. Okay, let's see. Yay, very good, Alejandra. Thank you. Eric, tell me one number. Six. Six, okay. Okay, tell me. Uh, and she was. And so was. A uh, best student in our class. Okay, best student, remember, is mejor estudiante. So, sí, eh, okay. Ah, and or da. Up. Hey. Okay, let's see. Oh no, in this one it would be the. Okay. Why it's the? Because okay, um, you're talking about one best student in one class, ok, en este caso eh, sería the best student, ok, casi siempre, bueno siempre la verdad, eh, esta palabra best debe de ir acompañada por este, the, por el artículo the, ¿por qué? porque the best significa el mejor, ok, so casi siempre va a ir así, ok mister, ok everybody too, ok, the okay. best, perfect, thank you mister, Good try. Let's go with Kevin. Kevin, tell me one number. 13. I'm sorry? 13. Oh, very good. Okay, this one. Our city will have a university soon. Okay. Yay, very good. Uh, Okay, no problem, Jacqueline, Daniela, thank you for letting me know. Very good, Kevin, thank you. Let's go with mm -mm -mm. Jose Walter. Tell me one number, please, mister. Five. Five, okay, tell me. This is a car you boy last week. Last week, repeat, last, last week. week. Excellent, thank you. Okay. The car, the car, uh, so okay. it's one, right? Mm -hmm. The car, ¿por qué? Porque um, it's, uh, pues, uno, un carro específico que compró la semana pasada, it's okay, so it's specific. Thank you, mister. Let's go with Fausto. Fausto, tell me one number, please, mister. 16. Okay. 16, tell me. Uh, there's uh, the umbrella on the floor. There's the umbrella. That's what you say? Yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, my goodness. There's, can you repeat the sentence, please, mister? There is an umbrella on the floor. Okay, awesome. Let's go. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's see. Ivania, tell me one number, please, miss. Oh, well. mm -hmm. One. One, okay. Tell me. Yes, are you attending a reception today? Okay. Oh, can you can you re read it again, please, Ivania? Are you at attending? Attended. Attended is. Attending. Yes, attending. Are you attending the reception today? Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's go. I think. Uh, Janiri. Janiri, are you there? Okay. okay, tell me one number, please, Janetti. Four. 
four. Oh, excellent. Oh, no. Can you tell me another number, please, miss? Um, no. I'm um, sorry? Number? No. Nine. Oh, no. <laughs> another number, miss. Uh, two. Three. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness! Mm. One last time, the last time. Twenty-one. Eleven. Oh, eleven. Okay, eleven. Okay, let's go with this one. There's a, an, or the. What do you think is the correct one for the three? A, an, or el da. What do you think? Um. There is an girl. An girl? Yes. Okay, let's see. Oh no, can you read it again, please, Miss Janetti? ¿Lo podrías leer una vez más, please? Sería, there is a girl uh -huh. where behind the desk. Behind the desk. Very good, thank you. Es a girl, porque estamos siendo específico, dice wearing a blue blue behind the desk okay so that's why let's see okay so that would be for that but do you have any questions hay alguna duda al momento okay, one second. remember a and an they are not they are indefinite okay Estos recuerden que son indefinitivos, ok? And then we have the, there are definite, uy, definite articles. El, el I y el an, más que todo, les dije que era cuando, pues no se tiene algo específico, ok? Um, what else? Recuerden que la A es cuando es consonante, la, la palabra, la siguiente palabra va a ser una consonante y el an, cuando la siguiente palabra va a ser una vocal, ok? And then we have the, y el da que es, o el di, or the, porque cualquiera de las dos pronunciaciones está bien. Eh, it's for definite things, es para cosas definitivas, como por ejemplo, the, the Navy, the USA, New York City, the best, the worst. Esas palabras llevan the. Okay. Questions, questions, questions right now. Or no questions so far. This I'm telling you this because we are going to continue with the prepositions. Les estaba explicando un poco acerca de eso, pero vamos ahora a utilizarlos con las prepositions. And to make these prepositions, you are going to help me, okay, to read them, okay, to practice. So this is the first preposition. Can you read the first pre preposition, please, Ivania? Oh, Ivania, te silenciaste, estabas ahí. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. How do you say this? Yes. Sería an. Uh, no. Uh, can you tell an or on, miss? Hmm. Tell me, tell me. Vaya, no, esto le voy a preguntar ahorita. Okay. Dice que an es para los consonantes, o estoy equivocada. No, para las vocales. Vamos a volver entonces. Voy a ir a seco, mis. Voy a ir a seco. Aquí es que ese era otro tema ya. Vaya, para las vocales vamos a utilizar an, ¿ok? Vowels. Y para las consonantes vamos a utilizar... Eh, uy, 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 uy. An, ah, sorry. Aquí, ¿lo ven en la pizarra, mis? O sí. sea, antes de iniciar la palabra, pues utilizas a con una, y después va la consonante y con an, después va a ir una vocal. Entonces, por ejemplo, puede decir a pen, a book, or and, o con el and, después va a ir una vocal. For example, an orange, an egg, okay? 
Así. Ah, an con vocales y an con consonantes, dijo. A, a con consonantes, a con consonantes. Y an con vocales, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale, Bien. ya voy. Ok. Ya voy. Ok, no problem, no problem. No problem, no problem. You can do questions, no worries, ok? Todos pueden hacer preguntas, ya saben que aquí estamos para apoyarles, para practicar, ok? So no worries, you can do them, ok? Now, eh, right now, Miss, ahorita íbamos con otro tema, aparte de eso, y estábamos practicando eso porque las vamos a ocupar más adelante estas preposiciones. Entonces, para que nos recordemos, pues les hice esa, esa pequeña recordatorio, vamos a decirlo así. Pero ahorita vamos con las prepositions. Las prepositions they tell you where the things are. Las preposiciones te dicen dónde están las cosas, ¿ok? Y vamos con uh -huh. la primera. Quiero que me ayudes a leer esta palabrita, Miss, la que está por acá en red. It's on. On. On significa sobre, ¿ok, you guys? On uh -huh. in English. Ok, let's go next one. Help me, Alejandra. In. Exactly. Yes, dentro. In. Thank you. Eric, tell me, help me with the next one. <laughs> okay. Under. Under. Debajo. Right? Very good. Fausto, how do we say this one? ¿Cómo decimos esta? Next to. Exactly. Next to, it means... A la par, right? Next to significa yes. a la par. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Uh, next one. Jose Carlos, help me. Okay, let's see. In front of, E would be in frente. Very good. Jose Walter. Bethany. Behind, ¿ok? Behind. 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 Lo vamos a escribir acá como se dice. Okay. Behind, ¿ok? A la par. Uh, no, it's atrás. Okay. Okay. Atrás. Very good, José Walter. Thank you. Kevin, this one. Wait a second, Kevin. Uh, this one, Kevin. Between. En medio. Exactly, Kevin. Thank you. Monica. Oh, no, Monica. Wait a second. Monica, tell me, how do we say atrás? Exactly. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Rebecca, how do we say enfrente? <laughs> ¿Cómo fue, mis perdón? Rebeca, ¿cómo decimos enfrente? Do you remember how to say enfrente in English? Mm, in front of. Yeah, it's very good. Let's see. Janeri, how do we say a la par? Mm, next to. Excellent. Very good. Let's see next one. Uh, uh, mm. Let's go with Ivania. Ivania, how do we say abajo? Abajo, quiero ver. Under. Under, very good. Let's see next one. Uh, uh, Alejandra, how do we say sobre? On. Very good. Eric, how do we say... Dentro, in English. I'm sorry? Dentro. Ay, no me miro. Inside. Uh, yes, one of those is inside. Uno de esos es inside, pero hay another way, pero hay otra forma de eh, decirlo. Hmm. <laughs> It's super small word. Es una palabrita super chiquitita. Mm -hmm. 
Claro. In, exactly, Janeri. In, ok. Sí se puede decir inside, pero también podemos decir in, ok. Very good. Let's go. José Carlos, how do we say? Hmm. Entre. Exactly. Very good. I think those are all. Esas creo que son todas. Um, yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, uh, right now, I have another practice, okay, for the prepositions, okay? And what are you going to do? You will see some pictures. Van a ver ciertas imágenes y ustedes me van a decir, where's the monkey? Okay. Aquí dice, where's the monkey? Ahí dice, where's the monkey? ¿Dónde está el monito? Entonces, aquí le van a aparecer los en paréntesis para que puedan... No, eso no está en el manual aún, mister. Oh, wait, wait a second. Sí, creo que hay una página acerca de eso. Give me one second, mister. Ya te voy a decir en what page. Page 12. 12, 12. En el manual, en page 12. Para que puedan ir viendo. Pero esto exactamente no está ahí, como les digo, pero yo les pongo un poquito extra, porque me gusta poner más para práctica, ¿ok? So, in this case... Mi I'm... perdón, es en la 300. ¿En la 300? Sección 2. Sección 2. Sí, esto sale en la sección 2, Miss. Es de lo que le estaba preguntando el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Lo siguiente. Mm, no, pero. It was. I think so, Miss. I don't remember. Es que me preguntaron dos personas y I don't remember if it was you. <risa> sí, sí, pero. Ajá, pero es una dos, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, Janeri. Sí, sí. Sí, de eso es. Okay. Ya, yeah, definitely, Miss. Thank you. Ok. Um, eh, una consulta, Miss. Yes. Eh, es cuando se dice a la par, next to. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Se utiliza solo cuando está adelante? Uh -huh. O, eh, ejemplo, eh, uh -huh. un objeto puede estar <ríe> antes de. <ríe> Entonces, uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo sería en esa ocasión? Siempre sería como next. Eh, para sí. decirle a alguien, está antes. Eh, no sé. Uh, <ríe> La duda. Uh, no problem, mister. Ok, antes de. It could be between. Puede ser between. Or. Or next to. Porque está el otro que tal vez usted me podría decir before. Before significa antes. Ok. And so, um, that could be, pero before, hmm, es más que todo para acciones. Vamos a dejarlo con next to in between, ¿ok? Next to or between. Como por ejemplo, queremos decir el, ¿qué? What can we say? The, the book is next to the laptop. ¿Así, mister? Mm. Es, sí, 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 sí. Es que, es que estaba haciendo la, la comparación como lo decimos nosotros en español. Está a la par de la, de la compu. ¿Y de, a la par a dónde? Entonces, ah. o sea, ent, entiende. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> the food is next to the laptop. Uh, or maybe you can say, like, Between the book is between, para ser un poco más específico, it's between the, the laptop and the bottle of water, digamos. Por eso es que les decía que íbamos a practicar un poco lo de, porque ahí viene muy incluido en las preposi prepositions. Entonces acá vamos con the, the, between the laptop and the bottle of water, para ser un poco más específico. Porque en la tra en translation, mister, mmm, hay muchas palabras que en inglés no existen que nosotros creamos en el español, ¿verdad? So, <laughs> yeah, okay. yes, but that would be like the closest example. Eso sería como lo más cercano. So, yeah, mister. Ok, but no worries, you can use it, tú puedes utilizar. So, en este caso, in this practice, we are going to use the monkey. Um, um, and then, you have to say, where is it, okay? Y tienes que decir, ¿dónde está? Like, for example, it's on the box. Uh, so, here we have um, this one. 
Aquí tenemos el primer ejemplo. Where's the monkey? Where's the monkey, everybody? It's in the box. Yes, it's in the box. Look in y está in the box. Van a ver otros objetos aparte de la box, ok? As you will see. Very good so far. Let's go with the next one. Where's the monkey? It's on the table. Yes, it's on the table. Very good, very good. Let's go next one. Where's the monkey? It's on the under bench. Under the bench. 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 Banca se dice bench. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Where is the monkey? It's next to the tree. Okay. Let's see. Yay! Very good. It's next to the tree. Very good, very good. Where's the monkey? Oh. Yeah. It's between the boxes. Exactly. Oh. Está en medio, miren. Let's look at the monkey always. Siempre vamos a anotar el monkey. En este caso es... Okay. Between. Oh. Exactly. It's... Vamos a ver. It's between the boxes. Y aquí como pueden ver, pues ya vamos agregando ES para varios, ¿verdad? Porque son dos cajitas, ¿ok? Let's go next one. Where's the monkey? It's in front of the bicycle. In front, in front of the bike? No. Behind. behind. It's behind the bike. Bike. Okay. Behind, exactly. Let's see. Yes, very good. Where's the monkey? It's in front of the car okay mm -hmm. in front of the car excellent right then we have next one uh -huh. oh the next one as i told you this is on page 12 right okay ahora vamos con la page 12 oh no i thought we had a listening here but no And is here, look at the question that we are always going to use. Miren la pregunta que siempre vamos a utilizar. Where are, where is, okay? Y después dejemos el, el objeto. The keys, the monkey, the bathroom, the television, right? And like that. Y después para responder, pues vamos a decir el objeto más, depende del verbo to be, donde se encuentra, right? Here we have the same prepositions of place. Aquí tenemos las mismas preposiciones del lugar que estábamos anteriormente trabajando. But this is a little bit of practice. But here we have another practice. Here it says complete the sentences and tell me. For example, number one, it's the books are in the book book bag. Number two, the DVD player is next to the television. Let's see. Yes, next to the TV. Number three, the map. The map is under uh, the newspaper. Under, right? It's under the newspaper. Number four. What do you think? Behind to the, the table? 
The chair oh. is behind the table. Very good. Number five. The wallet is mm -hmm. on the purse. On the purse. Mm -hmm. on the purse. Uh, on the back, porque es que la wallet, wallet también se puede llamar purse, right? Y lo que estoy escuchando ahorita, very good. Okay, so the wallet is on the back. En este caso, back, le vamos a llamar a la cartera grandota, okay? What about number six? The cell phone is? The cell phone. In front of a book. Okay. In front of the address book. Okay. Very good so far, you guys. Now, wait a second. Oh, no. Before we go with that, we're going to do a little bit of practice. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Just give me one second. So, what are you going to do? So, do you remember the last time we sent a picture? ¿Se acuerdan que la vez pasada enviamos una imagen, right? So, today we are going to do something similar. Ahora vamos a hacer algo similar. What are you going to do? You have to have two objects in your pictures. Tienen que tener dos objetos en su imagen, okay? Like this. I am going to send you my picture. Okay, give me one second. Voy a enviar mi imagen. And so, yo send the picture. Solo van a enviar la imagen. ¿Por qué? Porque nuestros compañeros van a realizar la oración. Ahorita les estoy enviando la imagen de mí. Esa es mi, my picture, ¿ok? Solo le toman una picture y la envían, ¿ok? De those two objects. Only two objects. Give me one second. Two objects, ¿ok? Two objects. Take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp group. Y le envíen al grupo de WhatsApp, please, right now. Um, and so let's do it. Vamos a hacerlo super quick, please, los que puedan. Very good, thank you. Creative. What, Mr. Kevin, in class? <laughs> in class? Jose Garcia, thank you. Very good. Uh, I don't know who is the other one. Yaneri, thank you. Very good. Thank you, Ivania. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know now, mister. I don't know. Okay, let's start. Give me one second. I am going to show you the pictures here on my computer. Un segundo, vamos a mostrarle <coughs> las imágenes y ustedes me van a ir diciendo las respuestas. Just give me one second. Ustedes me van a ir diciendo las oraciones, okay? Using your picture, classmates' pictures, okay? Give me one second. One second, one second. So we can like do a little bit of practice where the things are, okay? Because it's important so we can practice with real life situations, right? So here we go. Oh my goodness, no. Okay. Give me one second. No, we cannot do that. Anyways, let's start here. Let's start with my picture, okay? So this is the picture that I got. Okay, so tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, uh, so where is the mouse? Next to is a mark. Next 
Yeah, very good, Miss uh, Abigail. Thank you. Let's hear it here. Let's see here. Vamos con uh, Janetti. Janetti, tell me one sentence with these pictures. Vamos, Janetti. Help me with this picture, Janetti. ¿Qué oración se te ocurría? Sería... Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice pan? Ah, ok. <laughs> Don't worry. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread, uh -huh. okay. Sweet bread, um, mm -hmm. water. It's bottle of what? On? Can you tell me again? It's mm -hmm. the sweet bread, um, mm -hmm. bottle, bottle. The sweet bread is on the bottle of water. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Very good, Janetti. Let's go on next one. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're going to see all my messages. Uh, this one, tell me, uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, tell me, how do you describe this picture? Mm -hmm. No logro ver muy bien imagen de ese es un pejito el que está la cerveza encima de él. <laughs> es un cat, un cat. Oh. Ah, un gatito. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> la verdad, no sé cómo se dice cerveza en inglés. Beer, beer, beer. Ah, beer. Yeah. Um, um, beer. Ajá, uh -huh. the beer. A cat. Um, it's on, on the cat. cat. Exactly, it's on the cat or on the pet. Very good. Eso puede ser otra pet que como mascota. Okay, very good, Miss. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Falca dijo, ¿verdad? Very good so far, you guys. Wow, you're super extra intelligent. Let's go here. Tell me, please, Eric. Tell me, Eric, with this picture. Eric, what do you see in the picture? Ah, uh, next, okay, vaya. Eh, ay, no sé por qué no puedo escribir. Okay, there. Uh, foco, se dice light bulb, okay? Light bulb. Ajá, okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh, now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good, Mister. Thank you. Let's go with next picture. Uh, help me, Jose Carlos. Do so you have this picture? Mute, mute. Hello, Carlos. Okay, there. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Good sentences. Let's go with Ivania. Ivania, tell me. Ivania. Okay, now let's go with. Oh, there. Ivania, tell me. Hola. Tell me the, the sentence. Eh, el, este es un celular y son unos que a lo, lo que está ahí a la par. Eh, earphones. Audífonos. Yeah. Is the audífonos? No, earphones. Next. Earphones. 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 Uh-huh. Earphones next to the, the, the uh, earphone. Go my celular. Uh, cell phone. Cell phone. Exactly. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Very good. Let's go. Next one. Uh, hmm. 
Let's go with Jose Walter. They stay in car mm -hmm. and from a uh, shoes. Okay, very good. In front of the shoes? ¿Crees que está in front of the shoes? Enfrente? Next to. Puede ser dependiendo, next. Dependiendo <laughs> cómo se ve la foto. <laughs> si la ve de lado, <laughs> Si la, si la ve de, de como si la ve así de frente es next y si la ve de lado es in front of. Okay. Depend, depends on the context, right? Yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, now let's go with this one. Oh, he's who is missing? ¿Qué me falta que no practicado? Who wants to practice? ¿Quién quiere practicar? Nos faltan three pictures más. Nos faltan tres imágenes más. Who wants to practice? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The sunglasses uh -huh. on the book. On the book. Excellent. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Anybody else? Oh, good picture. Uh huh. The key on the the keys on the no the key under the control. Okay, the keys under the control. Very good. And this one, the last one. One more volunteer, volunteer, brave volunteer, un voluntario valiente who wants to tell me the what this the this picture, where is it? Mm -hmm. Charger, charger. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is is the charger charger uh -huh. in from in from the pen? Okay, very good. Jose Carlos, you're going to say something. Tell me, Mister. The pencil is next to the charger. From the charger. Yeah, it could be too. Very good. Thank you, everybody, for doing your sentences with the real life, right? Because those are pictures from you. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for doing it. Gracias a todos por hacerlo. Super good so far. Now, uh, do you have any questions so far with that? Questions al momento con las prepositions of place? Or no questions? No questions, Miss. No questions. Okay, so... I know we only have two minutes, but we are going to take advantage of two minutes, okay? Vamos a hacer un poquito más, uh, like, super quick, okay? We are now going with the nationalities, okay? Do you know any nationalities? Can you mention some nationalities in English that you know, besides Salvadorian, because that one, you already know it? Another nationality? Mexican. Ah? Brazilian. Brazilian, yeah. What else? Mexican. Yes, what else? Japan. Spain. Japanese, uh -huh. Spanish, uh -huh. que es español. Okay. I'm sorry? China. Chinese. Chinese. Ah, ok, pero de nationality, ¿cuál sería la nationality para United States? ¿Se acuerdan cuál era? American. American. Yes. American. Uh, Uh, uh -huh. Germany. Oh, German. Uh huh. Anything else? Guatemala. Uh -huh. Guatemala. Uh huh. Russia. Colombia. Colombian. Okay, Colombian. Uh huh. Russian. Ukraine. Okay, uh -huh. Argentina. Argentina. Argentinian. Argentinian. Uh -huh. France. French. French. Sería la... uh -huh. Italian. Italian. How do you say Italian? Italian. Exactly. Canadian. Italian. Uh -huh. Very good. So these, remember, they are nationalities, okay? Mm -hmm. Esas son las nacionalidades y esas más que todo 
Regularmente finalizan así, miren, en an, an, pocas finalizan en is o each, ok, pero estas son básicamente las nacionalidades, ok, alguna, pero faltan un montón, ustedes saben que hay un, like a lot of countries, ok. Eh, por, so, ejemplo, uh -huh. por ejemplo, así como Honduras. Ah, Honduran, exactly. Hondu, oh, I'm sorry, Honduran. Termina en an. Nigeria. I'm sorry? Nigeria. Nigerian, Nigerian. I'm sorry? Suiza. Swiss. Swiss. Swiss, yeah. Swiss. That one I don't remember exactly. But I think something similar to that. Okay. I'm sorry? Switzerland. Switzerland is el, la nacionalidad sería Swiss, mister. Okay, now it's a uh, time. Sorry, you guys, yes, time. As uh, you can see, it passed the hour super fast. We practice a lot, right? And tomorrow we are going to continue. Don't worry. Sí, Jose Walter, hay un video para practicar. De hecho, eh, está el video y después les aparece la práctica, me parece. Uh, always that you have a question. Recuerden que siempre que tengan una pregunta o duda, Pueden hacerla ahí en el grupo o me la pueden hacer en privado, no hay problema. Y con gusto les estaré apoyando en cuanto pueda. Y uh, please try to finish and try to work in section 3. Tra tra tratemos, I'm sorry, tratemos de practicar la sección 3 también ya. Um, y y ya. Yeah. That will be all for today. Eso sería todo para el día de ahora. I will see you tomorrow. Los veo mañana. Have a great night. Okay, and take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Goodbye.